The U.S. has officially declared the recent military takeover in Myanmar a coup and said it would look for ways to impose sanctions. But despite global condemnation, Myanmar's army chief said the military takeover was inevitable. Our Peunji has more. The U.S. officially declared on Tuesday that the recent military seizure of power in Myanmar was a coup. After a review of all the facts, we have assessed that the Burmese military's actions on February 1st, having deposed the duly elected head of government, constituted a military coup d'etat. Under U.S. law, the assessment that a coup has taken place automatically puts restrictions on assistance. The State Department said it would review ways to impose more sanctions or penalties on Myanmar's military leadership, but added that humanitarian aid would continue, including to the Rohingya Muslim minority in Myanmar and programs that promote democracy or benefit civil society. According to Reuters, Washington has not been in direct contact with the coup leaders or the detained government leaders. The United States will continue to work closely with our partners throughout the region and the world to support respect for democracy and the rule of law in Burma, as well as to promote accountability for those responsible for overturning Burma's democratic transition. But despite global condemnation, the commander-in-chief said the takeover had been, quote, inevitable for the country. In the first meeting of his cabinet on Tuesday, he said the military's move was in line with the law after the government failed to respond to claims of electoral fraud. But in Myanmar's biggest city, Yangon, people banged on pants to protest against the coup. Social media users live-streamed and posted videos of themselves and other residents on balconies of apartments, repeatedly banging on cooking pots, some even shouting anti-coup slogans. Facebook has also banned pages linked to Myanmar military TV following the takeover. Baek Eun-ji, Arirang News.